YouTube, it's time to get the injured in our Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. This is me actually taking, I guess you'd call it the battle virginity of um, the YouTuber Michaela. Um, she is very new. Um, she doesn't know much about the game. She's learning. She understands all the basics. And, well, she just asked me, you want to have a battle? I was like, sure. So I was on with my Volterrana. She leads off with her ape. And I'm like, okay, rocks don't really bother me. I want to get some damage on this thing so I can bring my take in to force the switch. So she fakes out. I Volt Switch. And here we are. So this is the basic Milotic. I really like it. I predict the switch and something that can take it. So I switch out. And I go for the Dragon Town. I'm like, okay. Um, she's going to predict the Ice Move. Because what Milotic doesn't carry Ice Beam now is Because Dragon. So I go for the Boiling Water. And this is very important right here. I go for the Boiling Water, and I get the burn of the Natterae. That is so helpful. That makes it so this thing can't leech seed stall me. This was very important. A 30% chance made this battle a hell of a lot easier for me. Okay, so now I go into my Reggie Seal, and I'm like, it can leech seed, but I doubt that will really hurt me. Alright. Um, I think this thing could set up spikes or something. I'm not really sure, but I knew it would wall any physical option it had, and that's why I wanted. So she switches out of the ape, going for knowing I'd have rocks, and knowing I'd be scared out by the potential fire move. And I'm like, okay, and she's getting some HP back. That ain't good. If I stay in her, her ape can get absolutely more can do damage. Again. So I go into my own tick. I'm like, cool, she fire blast. Okay, so special ape. Have the U-turn? You're a lead ape. Have the U-turn? No, she has the close combat. Mmm, that sucked. But, I go for the skull and I kill it. You know, I was talking to her about how important it is to need to know when the fodder. And her ape really didn't have that much of help with looking at the team I had. Seeing that it was low HP and I could base it out on. So she goes out into her nanorate and I'm like, what can you do to me? Leech seed? That's it? So I look, see this as an opportune time to rest. I don't know if she had spikes. If she did, I think that would have been a very good option to set them up now. Um, again, she is very new, so don't, you know, even if she had them, don't look at that as a major mistake. I mean, looking at it, she sees how little damage the Power Whip's doing because of the burn and the Marvel scale. That's what makes the set really good for Myotic. Dragon Tail, Skull, Rest, and, um, I think I have the ice. No, Toxic. Alright, so now I'm predicting myself. I was hoping I'd wake up this turn, but I see her bring in the Rancorusu. She's seeing this as time to set up, but she counted her sleep turns wrong. She she should have remembered I wake up this turn, but again, you know, that's not something a beginning player's really going to look at. And so I get the Dragon Tail off, she goes on to Sazendora now, and I'm like, what can you do to me? Maybe Draco. So I'm like, Reggie Steel? You want to play with this thing? So, I do that, and I see the Dragon Pulse, and I'm like, okay, you're either Specs or Scarfed, so your choice, which means now I can take this time to... Oh, I double switch out. That's right, I remember now. I double switch out, predicting to switch into Natarae. I go into Hedruma, and she gets... So now, she gets the Intimidate, and... No, she doesn't even get the Intimidate. I go for the Stone Edge, and misses. That really sucks. I would love to get that kill on the men's, but it doesn't. And so now I go on to my Deoxys speed, and I'm like, okay, Ice Beam. She goes on to Natterae, knowing she doesn't really have a big use for it anymore, and I Ice Beam. And while well, it doesn't, it does okay damage, I'm like, I have Focus Blast. So. Focus Blast. And I don't miss. You know, it's kind of like one of those things where she didn't have that good of luck this match. I mean, yes, Stone Edge miss. But I think that burn on Natterae mattered so much more, blocked off so much. And now she goes out into um, her Monopoly dude, collect 200, that's a pro name. She didn't know I'd carry the Thunderbolt. She, again, very new, and I get a crit! And that's just so gay, because I... Skull might have killed... been close to killing them burned. She gets a crit, and that was just so gay. <laughs> I mean, because now I can do this. I can go into Volt Volteros, and I can just... Volt switch out and kill it. You know, that those those are the small things that matter so much in my opinion. Alright? So now I go back under Reggie Steel. And yes, that's another thing. I'm playing like a bitch. <laughs> Myotic Reggie Steel is a very good cover combo. It's one of my favorites. And after he goes to the men's, I'm like, what are you gonna do to me? 
right? Alright, you're not gonna do really anything. You know, you got Earthquake. So, she pre she predicts me! And I'm proud of this, because I'm thinking that's a mixed sense. So, I think she has Earthquake. And she goes with Fire Blast, knowing that I would go into that. So, that's a good little prediction right there. So, now I go into Milotic, knowing that Metro really can't hurt me. Except, oh, whoa, what? Oh, 261 HP, it's a Zara Rock. I kinda think, you know... Most people would fall for that point now. But she does figure out it's Scarf just by seeing the Night Dance. So that's really cool because, you know. And then she goes with the U turn. Predi here, predicting my switch, I'm going to get some redi residual damage on. And this is the part of the match where you see how gay I can be to people. She's an up and coming player, and I do this. I Thunder Wave. It's like, okay. She Focus Blast, and I'm like, oh, God, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. And it's a kill. So. Guess what I'm gonna do from here? This is a 32 2 battle, and guess what I do? Iron Head. Leftovers. Iron Head. Leftovers. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I do this. I powerful install her. She's using the focus boss. I ran numbers. She had a 49 no, yeah, like a 49% chance of getting not getting powered. Not getting flinched and hitting the so she just goes to a psychic knowing if I'm gonna get a chance of being doing any damage, I'm probably gonna miss focus plus if I get it off. So I just wanna get some damage in. Which personally I think was a smart move. I mean I might want to suggest HP fighting, but are you really gonna come up against a power flinching Richie Steel? So unfortunately now, she really can't do anything, so I have to be a bitch again. And she doesn't have the fire blast, and I think she explained to me why she didn't. It was okay logic. You know, not the most amazing logic, but she's a new player, you guys. Okay, and I think she did very good for a beginning. She understood the basic potentials of what could happen. You know, maybe her sets could use a little tweaking, her team could use a little tweaking. But, you know, for a beginning battle, this was very good. It was 20 times better than when I started. And she's starting in Generation 5, where there are no tears or anything. So you gotta look at that as a big thing. I mean, I, I was using a potential Uber right there in Deoxys E. And Voltros is also a potential mover. Alright, I was using my standard team against her full out. And that's kind of good for how well she did. I mean, I'm not trying to talk myself up here, but I think she did very good. She had, I'm just looking at her team, she had one major weakness to Deoxys speed, seeing that it could have a move to hit every one of her pokes. Ice Beam, hit Salamence, and it hits um, Sazendora. Focus Blast hits um, Sazendor and um, Natterae. Shadow Ball hits Burning Ganu. And Thunderbolt hits Burning Ganu. And Shadow Ball hits Rankarusu. And then a Psycho Boost right here. You know, you know, there's still things she's got to learn, but she's a very good battler. Go check her out. She's just learning now. So, you know, if, you're, if you feel like you're a good battler and you want to help her out, do that. You know, I'm not going to lie. The female community for battling is very shallow. And I want Pokemon to be a game that everybody can enjoy. You know, so now it's... Now I'm ranting again for more minutes. And I should really stop because my girlfriend is like, Why are you narrating Pokemon when you could be talking to me? And I'd rather be talking to her, to be honest. Uh, I'd give up Pokemon for her. So yeah, um... That was a very good game, Nikochu. Or Mikhail... I just call you Mikhail. Eh, just how I am. <laughs> um... Alright, so I will catch you guys later. Peace.